Guys, this guitar is insane. This is iGuitar, let's talk about this beauty. So guys, last time I reviewed a guitar, it was that Mystic Seafoam Jazzmaster. A really cool guitar, American Professional, happened to be in 2017, and I actually ended up trading that guitar straight up for an incredible Eric Johnson Fender Thinline Stratocaster. So the Fender Eric Johnson signature Thinline Stratocaster was a 2018 model. Didn't see a whole lot of life in the Fender world, probably because no one wanted to buy it. But the guitar is incredible. It retailed for about $2,000 back in the day. You can find them for about six to $1,800 on the used market currently. And these guitars are a ton of fun. So obviously the big thing, the big loud thing that's with this Stratocaster is the fact that it has an F hole in it. Yes, this guitar is gonna be semi hollow with a center block running up to the bridge plate. So the big thing about the F hole is of course that Leo Fender didn't conceive a Stratocaster to be a semi hollow guitar, okay? And for all the purists out there, that could be a big turnoff, but I would say stop your whine, he didn't invent the Telecaster Thin Line either, and everyone loves those. But hey, this guitar is really incredible, and for a used price, it's got some really great features. So first off, it's got an incredible nitro cellulose finish on the neck and the body. Not a lot of Fender guitars in that 2000 range, modern guitars, have that nitro finish. Obviously, we have the vintage white color, which is going to give it that aged yellow kind of look. And of course, the back of the neck is going to be this beautiful maple, and of course, we also have a incredible maple fingerboard on top. I can't say I've seen a maple fingerboard like this one at this price range. It truly is an incredible sight to behold. So Shaw did design these pickups as well, and you'll find that they're very hot. They have a very full, full sound, but also very, very, very loud. We'll get into the demos in a moment. Another big thing about this guitar is it's a very flat fretboard. Most Fender guitars in the vintage style have a very rounded fretboard. This guitar actually has a very, very large flat fretboard. I don't actually mind it because I bend a lot and I have really big hands. So being able to have that extra space on the fingerboard makes the guitar play that much better for me. What's also nice about this guitar is the fact that tuners look and feel like vintage Fender Clusons with one departure. The post heights are a little staggered, tall at the low E and short at the high E. And that increases the break angle at the nut for the highest strings, theoretically promoting resonance and sustain. There is no string tree, obviously. So also, obviously, you'll notice no vibrato cavity backplate either, not even the screw holes. That is really nice. It gives it a nice clean look. And as far as differences between a traditional vintage Strat, the two tone controls regulate the neck and bridge pickups as opposed to the neck and middle as on vintage Stratocasters. And most of us will appreciate this update. The bridge pickup is wound a little hotter than its vintage equivalent. Another revision some of us are gonna appreciate a little bit more. And of course the guitar just sounds beautiful having all those features in it. All right, let's play some of these vintage tones on this guitar here. We're going into a JT14 Tyler amplifier, gonna be more of a Fender Princeton style amplifier. We're gonna start off with, of course, our neck position, making our way down the pickup selector. I'm gonna have a little bit of boost on this, some reverb from the amplifier, and then of course, I'll add in some chorus at the end to give it a little bit more texture to it, okay? Thank you. 
Now, guys, I hope you like this review and playthrough of the Eric Johnson Signature Thin Line Fender Stratocaster. It is truly a really incredible guitar. If you like the video, please consider subscribing. I make videos all the time. And if there is a guitar out there like this Thin Line that's kind of odd, kind of quirky, but you like it, I want to hear about it in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time on iGuitar.